Chef Sheik number one versus United Gaming in the Persian Cup. This is a single elimination cup with 128 teams. But let's jump into an E-Dragon attack to start it off at Town 15. And we're kicking it off with the first attack against Exostana. And we've got ourselves some E-Dragons. Where's your max out clone? I guess you might not need it if, if the two space or whatnot doesn't make the difference, so... With the E-Dragons getting some chains onto a Tesla pop in here, but he does take out the corner air defenses. So he wants to push these E-Dragons all the way across. Did take out the sweeper that would push him through. Finding some sinking air mines. There's the warden. And that blimp's gonna come through. These balloons really pulling these sinking air mines, protecting these E-Dragons, pushing their way in. Defensive rage going off. Balloons going down. Pops the warden ability to protect. As that blimp flies all the way across to that town hall where he does not... Oh, there's the clone. It's super minions. He takes out the monolith. Then he can make him invisible. Oh, ow. They get hit, but he's going to lock out of the town hall. Down it goes. Okay. We have the defensive rage that is still there, but he Edrek has cleared all of this. Now it's up to his heroes to continue to make his way down and around. E-Dragon's up top. The scatter's up there. Where is he going to send his Royal Champion? Is he going to send it there? E-Dragon getting some chain. It gets some chain. It gets the final chain. It doesn't go down. One more. Oh, that scatter shot stays up. His queen going to have to one shot. That enemy queen takes her down. He's got a freeze and an invis. He decides to send the RC. Yes, towards that scatter to help take that down. He does have two headhunters. Pops the king ability. Maybe freeze the... Oh, the warden. No. Oh, never mind. The Warden pulls the gear around. It went to the Owl. But then he, the second one went to the Warden. RC's moving around. He could drop an Invis. But he's got this with a minute and 20. Look at the time left. His heroes are going to finish this one off. And he doesn't even need the maxed out heroes. He doesn't need 90s or 40s or 60s or 65s, I should say. Coming in with the E-Dragon... Super minion clone crushing it here to start off for a three star. Bernal is up. This is the first time I'm seeing Bernal attacking part of United Gaming here. And it's his classic queen charge. And he's got that maxed out queen. Maxed out king, warded, and royal champion straight up with no hero potions. Whoa. Bernal and a maxed out queen level 90. Yo, what? Okay, we got the balloon, wall break, and to get this queen into this multi-target inferno, defensive rage is here. Looking to rage everything up. Will this queen walk her way to the multi? Oh, he makes it invisible, and yes, queen does make her way to the multi. Drops it below, but, but it, oh, no, 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 but it causes the flame, okay, it goes down, okay, okay. That's all right, because it causes the flame flicker to retarget. Sends double wall breaks to break. Oh, there's a rage. He opens one. And he, oh, that rage clutched up, uh, sped it up to get through to uh, give him access to that monolith now. As he freezes the monolith, out comes a triple ice golem CC. Queen's working on it before the ice golems get pulled to her. Oh, no. She retargeted the archers, which caused her to now get hit. Start getting stuck on the ice golems. That Milev is doing absolute so much damage to this queen here as we got the king off to the right side. And wait a second, I didn't even think about it. If you upgrade your queen, she gets more health. That means the Milev does more damage to a max out queen than a lower level queen, technically, right? Wait a second. Maybe it's actually better to not upgrade your queen if you want to do good. <laughs> no. Upgrade your queen. She just is stronger. You're able to continue this push with this queen to make her way to the right side. We got that king going to the right as well. The Flame Flinger is going to continue through here. It's opening up pretty soon. King's ability going off. Look at this charge for this queen. Going to make her way into the enemy queen. King's leading the way. Healers, hopefully you don't transfer off. Pushing their way through. The defensive queen needs to go down. Minions are down as well. He's only got 56 seconds. Here comes the Lalo. We got Dragon Rider. Balloons. Pulling sick air mines. Royal Champions to the left. King comes back alive, taking out the enemy king, poisons up the town hall in the defensive rage, rages his way in. There's another freeze, but he doesn't have many balloons as he pops the ability. 
pops the queen ability. We got a sweeper next to this town hall. He's trying to overwhelm this. He's moving into the town hall. The dragon and the balloons secure the town hall like that. He's got six more balloons and the RC ability, which skips through. We got to get the balloons down for cleanup at this point. He needs to get to that clan castle. What are we going to do? Drop some headhunters to jump the walls to go there. There's the balloons. Another can is 15 seconds. He drops the balloons around. The warden helps. And Bernal with 10 seconds. He's going to... Oh, he finds a spring and a tornado trap down there. But he gets it for an answer. Bernal, well done. All tied up. Boone is looking to defend here against the Queen Charge Lalo as we're seeing balloons towards the scatter shot. The balloons out of the cannon to help set this funnel to force the Queen left. And what do you want to do against the scatter shot? We got rages near both of these, which are clipping the multi. That's a lot of damage. Oh no! That rage is raging up that expo. Flame Flinger trying to go into the scatter shot and secure that. But. He is getting hit by the mortar when he takes it down. Okay. Queen's continuing her charge in. Flame Flinger can go grab the scatter shot here as the Queen continues her way towards the single target Inferno. With sweepers pointing towards the seagull. Panels off to the far right side. The scatter shot is going down, and that Queen's going to continue her charge into the single. Going to have to freeze it. And he pulls a Seeking Air Mine. That's going to hurt. He drops another Balloon. But is he going to find a secondary Seeking Air Mine here? There's the Rage. Takes out the Single. Single goes down. And he's continuing his push. Cannon goes down as well. And we've got that Queen. Continue her charge all the way up and around. He's got two Super Wall Breaks. Break into this, can this Expo. Oh, no, he's waiting. He's letting the Queen secure the Expo. That Flame Flinger is doing a lot of damage to the Royal Champion through the Fire Spirits as the Eagle Artillery does now activate. Locks onto the King as he sends a second Super Wall Break into here to get access to the Defensive Queen, the Multi, then the Eagle. As look, the Flame Flinger is actually killing off the Royal Champ. Raising up the enemy Queen, continuing this charge through, and he kills the enemy RC with the Flame Flinger. What, he pulls out the Ice Golems, Drops the poison. The flame flinger opens with a yeti and a rocket loon. As now the Lalo is starting to the far right side. Queen needs to continue her charge in. The eagle's there. The warden is down. But the queen's going to get stalled up so much. So he sends that raw champion into the multi and the eagle. As he continues the Lalo from the right side. This queen is getting so much value here. As he drops his final set of balloons. The eagle locks onto the balloons now. He needs to freeze this town hall. He rages. Freeze the town hall on the monolith. He doesn't. He pops Warren Billy. He freezes just the Town Hall. As he continues his push around. 40 seconds left. Look at this valley. Makes the Royal Champion invisible to try to keep her alive. Does have her ability. Skips through the monolith. She's going to be going down to the ground expo. Or the Diggy comes to help stun or the Diggy died. I think, yeah, the Diggy died near the Eagle. But he freezes the bottom side. And look at this charge. Oh my. He's going to three-star this space with a brilliant Queen Charge, Lalo. Oh my, this match starting off with three-star. Three-star, and yet another three-star here. GG. Mr. Nick is up with a Lalo. Oh, we've got an Apprentice Warden. All right, Nick, how are you going to utilize this? We got balloons. We got that Warden. We got that Blimp coming all the way across. Oh, no. Nick, you're not really... You're, you're sitting in the blimp. Oh, boy. He's going some super archer blimp into a bomb tower or a super minion. No, it's super minions. Okay. Double clone right away. He's getting the super minions value. He takes out the, the queen. He's taking out this very... He takes out the multi. He takes out the town hall. Can he take out the eagle artillery? He's taking out the sweeper. He's working on the eagle. There's another invis and the eagle goes out! Hello! The warden is still up! What? The value from the super minions was insane! What the heck? This warden is still going. He can start the Lalo as his heroes go up top and keep the warden alive. What? The warden is still out of range. Nope, he's in range. He's going down. Okay, never mind. Let the warden die as he continues this push with the apprentice warden, with his heroes, to push their way into that monolith. He's trying to take it down. The king dies off. 
Oh my, the value is insane. As the Royal Champion is going to make her way to the right. Does have the wall break through here. We got the Apprentice Warden really helping him buff this queen, pushing their... Th oh my goodness. What the... Nick, you didn't have to do this to the space. Like, the base disappeared from that super minion value there. As he continues this way through, that queen is taking out the multi taking out the scatter the biggest problem though is this defensive rage and multi watch out this is a problem here as he starts to lolo down south with the hound the balloons the world champion is going to activate this defensive rage there it is pops queen ability we need to haste our way through here there's another hound to fly across these balloons can vape can just disappear in seconds there's the haste Royal Champion working out of here. You need to drop a freeze, and he does. Balloons going through. You need a haste to this multi. The Royal Champ trying to help take it down. We got traps. Multi goes down. The balloons continue their push through. Balloons out of the cannon. Minions as well. Queens coming through. And Nick. Look at this. The Royal Champion does just die off, but these balloons coming into the air defense. Wow. Keeping that queen up. And absolutely smashing this one at 10 15 Holy, what a value he just got in that blimp. The super minions. Not even fair what he just did. And he went four super minions. No test balloons. No nothing. All right. Three stars apiece coming through all the first four attacks. Can that stay in this one? Can he three star with the super dragons queen charge recall? But that flame flinger here, the healers are down. Sending the super dragon straight into Bernal's town hall. It's probably the plan because both these sweepers are pointing the opposite way. Okay. We've seen this happen before, but I think the value after seeing this attack, you need to get a scatter shot, but he's not. Unless he does. The value comes when you can grab the scatter. If he can char no, he doesn't go for it. Okay. That's the I've done this attack. And when I get the scatter shot, it works really well. Or it can be very strong. But when you don't get the scatter shot with your queen, it's a different story. Because he's going to have the flame flinger go for it. He wants to stay out of range of the ground expo. As there's the super dragons. He's going in. E drag trying to get some chain value. Tassels pop. We do have an invisibility spell that's going to go off here soon. Oh, there it is. It goes off. There's the freeze. Super Dragon's working on the ground expos as they can now lock out of the town hall. He can go another freeze or he's going to go Warden Eternal Tome. He decides to go Warden Eternal Tome here as he continues his way through. Single locks onto the Super Dragon. Is he going to go free? No, he takes it out through Warden ability as we do have some Super Dragons peeling off to the bottom side down here. R tries to rage up in the core, but we're seeing a lot of these Super Dragons not go to the core like he wanted to. And this is the problem. You go straight through the tunnel. There's the tornado trap there. Pulling traps and these super dragons are gone. We still have the king, the royal champion. But that whole core is up. The defensive rage is going to force that queen ability there. King is now down near the defensive king. The eagle locks onto the arches of the queen. But that eagle artillery does not go down. That war and eternal tome couldn't keep the super dragons pathing their way into there. And Bernal is looking to have a defense here unless something can happen here that his heroes can continue to push through. They might. These are strong heroes. He's got a free spell. Hang on. Wait a second. He's still got the flame flinger. Hang on here. Wait. The super dragon disappeared, but this royal champion's moving. He's got to freeze this monolith with a diggy. That diggy's going to have... No way. He's going to get this. He pops the RC ability. It skips through. The flame flinger is still going. Out comes the triple ice golem. You gotta freeze! Out comes Rock losing the Dragon Rush, pulls all the Seeking Air Mines. There's the freeze! He's going towards this multi! Are you serious? But the dra Ice Golems need to go down, but the multi finally goes down. 13 seconds. We got the Barbarian Archers working the far outside. The Ice Golems might be just the saving grace! The Ice Golems save the day! Oh my, a 98%. Boone is in. And Boone is bringing the Super Hog Riders here. All right, with some balloons down south and that blimp. The Yetis to go and kill this queen. Oh, it breaks on the outside of this wall. 
But the enemies run around to go grab the queen, but they're not going to get the scatter shot like he hoped. So this is going to be a problem. Perfectly placed Seeking Air Mines. As the baby dragon is going to get killed by the scatter shot, that queen continues to make her way left. Does he try to send a super hog in? He didn't even pull out the clan castle. There's some archers. There's the rage onto the queen. The scatter shot is going to absolutely shred these healers if the queen gets out of range. He sends a few loons into the scatter, but the multi's waiting. The scatter is going to hit these healers, and it's hitting the unicorn. Pulls out the a million archers CC here. The scatter can't go down. You need to send a super hog. The archers lock onto your healers. Uh-oh. There's the poison. You got to send something into here. What are you going to do? At least the scatter shot didn't lock onto the healers there, but he didn't pull out the full CC. Headhunter onto the defensive king to slow him down. Continuing this charge in towards this multi, the town hall. 14 super hogs to send through. There's the king ability. He's going to run up and around. Tesla pops. Defensive rage goes off as this queen's going to loop her way around. No more balloons here. So any traps is going to absolutely shred these healers. There's a rage to take out the multi healers. A red air bomb almost away from death as the queen will run back around behind the wall. Oh, he sends the hog straight into the scatter. No, she continues around, but she is going to go for the town hall. Lava hound comes out. Into a bomb tower. Drops a heal. Are you going to pop a warden and turn to him? No. Just keeping them healed up. He's going to wait for the warden ability. And there's a giant bomb. Eagle strikes. There's the warden. As the queen's going to help lock out of the town hall. But we have a defensive raged up eagle. Multi. Two expos and a grand warden altar. Drops the heal on the backside as he continues to push his way through. Headhunters trying to go to the enemy royal champion. And wall breakers. Wall breakers trying to go through. But... This Royal Champion is going to go down way too quickly. The Hog Riders did not get the value that he wanted. He wanted that blimp to take out the Scatter. Send the Hog straight down to the bottom into the Eagle as fast as possible. As it's just the two stars. 66% here. And now it's all tied. On stars, 8-8. Eight eight. But we have a percentage lead. 99.3 for Efshing number one. Next up for Efshing. Coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo as well. Okay, they're keeping the Queen Charge Lalo. You know, it's... They've done it for so long. Strong as attacking Clash. And even, no matter what you do, it stays at the top. As this Queen's going to charge her way to the right side. Flame Flinger helping clear a little bit higher up. But, watch out for that Mortar. It's going to be a problem as that Flame Flinger continues to make its push through. Queen, uh-oh, this Tesla is going to pull this Queen to the right side, causing the Queen not to walk in where he wanted. So he makes that invisible, and he brings the Queen back. That invis was clutch. Great job of bringing the invis spell. Continuing this charge for the Queen. But he needs to find a way to distract that Mortar as he rages up the Queen. Finds a Tornado Trap. Queen's getting spun. Balloon in there as well. Oh, 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 oh! Her queen ability was forced as he wall breaks right into here to get try a little bit deeper access. And out comes a triple ice golem CC. This queen. Oh, poison down. The mortar is being distracted by the queen, so he got lucked out there. I said, oh, look at the wall break. Look at the wall break. Brilliant wall break timing to open up for this queen to get access to the eagle, the multi, the monolith. Wow. Charging this queen directly into here. How does he do it? And he's not st he's not waiting. He starts the Lalo now over the town hall. Rages this queen up. Gonna have to worry about a freeze under the model because the queen's going down. He makes the queen invisible at the perfect time. If he waited one more second, he would have lost his queen there as he secures the eagle. The freeze under the rage and the multi. His queen's going down now. He can't do anything about it. He lets her die as he can rage over this town hall, but it's not active. It finally now activates, but he loses all the balloons off to the right side as the flame flingers working out to that multi as he sends a few more balloons for this multi. He still has the king and the royal champion. Is there still a chance? He got a lot of value out. Barbarians and Headhunters going to kill off this king. Rackaloon's Dragon Riders to the top side. He could send the Royal Champ up there, but we do have a ground expo. The Warden's clearing this ground expo. There might be... Hang on here. He's got two freezes. There might just be a chance he's going to do this. As his heroes might just be able to move through with the Dragon Rider. There's the freeze on the Grand Warden. So this Warden's still working. That king will come back alive. Huh? 
He's got a giant to provide a distraction. He's got this. Wait a second. What? He freezes the air defense for the warden, but he dies. Drops the... You'd probably drop a giant for this cannon over here or something. Or the diggy will just stun it. Time is his biggest issue. The question mark. The world champion needs to make her way through. There's the wall breakdown stuff. Pops the ability. Starts the cleanup. The minions go to the core. Nine seconds. It's gonna be another time fail for F Shake number one. Oh no. Wow. Another 97 now. Oh, Achilles OP. Needs to be OP with the three star to keep pace. At this point, they got a three star both of these next attacks and hope for a defense. They have a chance. As that bl blimp lands into the mortar compartment, which they're not going to be able to take out the enemy queen. Or is he looking to take out the queen? He pulls the CC. The scatter shot stays up. Was that worth it? I don't know. Is the queen's moving through with the super minions? The rocket loons go down. The many archers as well. A little annoying, but he's able to continue this push in with this queen here. Towards this eagle artillery. There's some balloons onto the Tesla. Oh, it doesn't take it down. He does pull a red air bomb, though. There's a wall break for this queen. The defensive rage is... Oh, my God. There's four expos. They're all going to get raged up. There's four expos waiting to be raged here. Are you serious? You're going to charge that four expo compartment. But at least two of them are on the king and not uh, only one on the queen here. Oh, my goodness. Pops that king ability. But the queen, she might walk to the grab this. Is she going to walk back to this, this eagle artillery? The one expo goes down. There's... Oh, my God! There's so many expos raged up hitting this queen. She comes back, but her ability was forced. Holy... He needed to drop that invis just a second earlier to keep that queen ability from getting forced. As he wall breaks into the bomb tower and he opens it. Sends another wall break, but it doesn't go to the core here. But he can reach the town hall now. Balloon pulling sick air mine, but the other one goes to the healers. As the RC goes into the defensive RC and the scatter shot here. He's going to rely on the queen to secure the town hall as he continues his push through. And the queen doesn't have ability though, so he must freeze. He must keep this queen alive as the town hall goes down. Freezes the defensive rage and the multi there on the backside. He takes out the scatter shot. His queen is taking out the backside. Scattershot will be huge. As the RC ability does not get forced because he pops the Warden Eternal Tome. As the queen can get a few shots off onto the, his queen. No, he doesn't. Because it locked onto that. The healers are looking to transfer to his raw champion as her ability was forced. He's got a, one more freeze to use. Uses on the multi, but the balloons have disappeared. As the raw champ tries to make her way towards this multi. As we have the queen on the backside still alive. Oh my... As the multi goes down, but the Royal Champion finally just gets taken out. Has a handful of minions around this base, but he's going to fall short. But yeah, very nice try. Only the 91% two star. And Evshing number one is looking to close it out. A three star, they lock it up. But if they don't triple, United Gaming still has an opportunity to make a comeback with a three star of their own. As it's going to be a queen charge... Hog Riders with that blimp to try to pull the CC and take out this queen and take out the scatter shot. He grabs the scatter, no ground skeletons, takes out this whole compartment and pulls out the triple ice comb CC and grabs the sweeper. What? That's going to help tremendously for the queen to charge her way into this so the healers don't get pushed back. That's going to be very nice as he's taking care of these ice cones, but this queen. Getting hit by the eye. Oh, 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 no. What is he doing? He's got to, like, freeze. He's got to rage something up. No. Oh, he froze. Okay, he froze the expo. As the queen needs to continue her charge through. The unicorn's going to heal this queen up as she continues the charge. All right. So you funneled a little bit to force this queen in towards this town hall. As he continues his way through. And if you lose this match here, you are eliminated from the Persian Cup. So this is a big one. You don't want to be losing your matches here as he wall breaks instead. He doesn't want to rely on... Okay, I guess he's going to double wall break both of these walls here. So he definitely is going to open up this tunnel compartment. He does have the king. And we've got an invisibility spell here behind the tunnel. So we have to freeze that. There's the king off to the far right. Eagle activates. A couple sneakies. To help with the funnel. King's gonna move in. He might actually move in towards this town hall here. 
Got to get this freeze ready. He's going to go to the Arch Tower next. What's There's the rage for the Queen. Going to step in towards this monolith. Oh, no. King goes outside to the Arch Tower. There's the freeze to grab the Town Hall, the monolith, and the invisibility spells. The King's ability goes off, and he sends the Hogs directly straight into the Eagle as fast as as possible to ensure to take that down. There's giant bombs. Defensive rage goes off. Pops the warden ability. Royal champion's going through. Pops the queen ability. Takes out the defensive invis. Hogs split in a couple different directions. We got multis, multis, multis all around this base. Makes the queen invisible to keep her going. Does not have her ability anymore. The hogs have pretty much vanished as the Queen is going to secure that monolith. He's got some more hogs to the right side. The Royal Champion takes out the multi. He's got one more hog as the Diggy. It does stun this multi-target Inferno. The Queen needs to stay alive to take out this Expo, and she does! Takes that Expo down. The hogs going into the scatter shot. Royal Champion coming around. He's got a few cleanup troops left, and look at this with that Queen charge hogs taking down Nick's base. It is a three star and it's going to secure them the victory in this match. But we still have one more attack for United Game. Exostana is in with the final attack. And we've got ourselves a Queen Charge Lalo as well. Okay. We've got this Queen to make her way to the left. To charge her way. Is it going to be a log launcher? No, we got a blimp here. Taking on this air defense. Taking on the cannon. And there's the blimp to go into the eagle to try to pull this clan castle out. And does he secure it? He needs to take out this expo. Out comes the balloon. Rages up these yetis. Expo goes down. Out comes rocket loons and super minions. Eagle is secured. And he pulled out that full CC there. Very nice. And he... What? What? And he even took out the multi-target Inferno? Are you for real? Okay. As that Yeti's gonna be off to the far left side. Taking out these super minions. This queen's gonna make her way to the mortar, grabbing that. She'll loop her way into the scatter shot. And we got the balloon going into here. Drops this rage onto the cannon. Gonna continue her way into this scatter shot to help grab this value. Taking out the defensive queen. Raged up. And does he need to freeze her? No. Makes it look easy. He's got another wall break. He's gonna use it or he's gonna wait till this goes down. He waits. Now use it and it targets that bomb tower perfectly. And he dodges the springs. Opens up this wall. Per Dude, this is a perfect allowing the queen just to continue her path towards this town hall. We got an invis next to it. Uses the freeze. King will use his ability towards the defensive king. And he's... Oh, will the queen go to the town hall, though? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. She's not. She's not. She's not. She's walking around. She's going to the air skellies. She should maybe come back around. There's another freeze, but... Will it last long enough? Oh, boy. Okay. Queen's taking out the town hall. Okay. At least he froze up the invis. He froze up the model of here. The defensive multi is raged up. But the queen is a Billy's force. She's going to die. Oh, she's gone. She is gone from the town hall explosion. Oh, boy. He's going to send the Rod champion in under the ice hound here into the multi to help secure that. The healers have transferred. And here comes the Lalo right over the top side. Drops an archer to the left to help with that cleanup over there as he continues his push through. And these expos onto the Rod champion. He's continuing his path around. Headhunters going into the enemy RC. We can pop that warden at Chilotome. There it is. He continues his push around. Raged up balloons into the core. Needs to make his way to the multi. He's got four more balloons left. He's got RC ability, but he's only got 13 seconds. There's no way the time he's going to take out the cannon. Skips to take out the air defense. And he's going to time fail this one. Exostana. Great effort there for United Gaming, but they're going to fall just a little bit short right there. As the final score is going to be a 12 to 13. Fjing number one takes the victory 99% for them in this match. GG.